Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to show y'all the video of me killing that deer. Um, it's kind of short, so I'll just kind of tell you the story and stuff. So I'm sitting in my stand. To the right of me, there's a laurel thicket. All right, And I heard some grunting in the laurel thicket. And, uh, and the squirrels were jumping around and stuff. So I heard something behind me. So I turned around to look. And uh, I didn't see anything, but when I came back down, right to the right of me, there was two small does. Okay, well, these two small does, you know, they were working around, they were feeding and stuff. And uh, all of a sudden, the one, the bigger one, was looking at me and then looking behind me. Because I'm on top of a mountain, and it's like a bowl out in front of me, and behind me, the hill goes up. So anything that's behind me is about eye level with me. So I couldn't tell if she was looking at me or something behind me. So some time goes on, you know, she's looking up and down. Well, she starts to stomp on her foot. So at that point, you know, I knew she's going about to run off. Well, she flagged and the, those two ran off. And it wasn't five seconds later. It processed through my head that maybe she wasn't looking at me and she was looking at a buck behind me. I turned to my left and... Um, because I heard something down off the side of the mountain. So I turned to my left and there was a buck. And he must have been chasing a doe. But that buck, he came right down. I threw my gun up real quick and I couldn't get a good shot at him while he was walking. So he went a little further and he stopped behind a tree. And I asked myself, should I take the shot now or wait? Or I mean, I might not get a second chance. But, um... I waited, I decided to play it safe, I waited, and uh, he turned around, and he was walking back, and you can see it in the video if you look close, he's walking back, and as soon as he gets past the tree, boom, I shoot him, and he runs probably, he was, pro I'd say he was probably 60, 70 yards from where I shot him, and he didn't start bleeding Probably till he was about 50 yards from where I shot him. I mean, I was getting a little worried. I won't lie. In the video, you can kind of... If you look real close, you can see him jump and buck. But um, that's the story. I hope y'all enjoy. I'm about to play the clip right now, and then I'll show some pictures at the end. So, uh, thanks.